This is a basic papa. This is a better one. And this is how you make it look professional. In this lesson, I'll show you how to turn a simple object reveal into a polished pop-up animation with squash and stretch and a natural bounce effect. Let's jump in. First, import your illustration as a PNG with a transparent background. Place it on the timeline. Since we'll be applying squash and stretch, it's important to set the anchor point correctly. Select the Pan Behind tool, hold Shift, and drag the anchor point down to the bottom of the box. This way, the animation will look like it pops up naturally from the ground. Now let's animate the appearance. Open the Scale property, press S. At frame 0, set a keyframe at 0%. Move forward 7 frames, set scale back to 100%. Next, open the position property, press P. At frame 14, set a keyframe at the current position. Go back to frame 7 and move the box slightly upward. Already you should see a nice motion. To enhance the realism, let's exaggerate the motion. On the last keyframe, frame 14, make sure scale is at 100%. Go back two frames, turn off the constrained proportions link, and set X equals 80%, Y equals 120%. This creates that quick squash and stretch effect, making the pop-up feel alive. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. Let's preview the result. Time to make it even more fun. Let's add a bounce. Hold Alt for Windows or Option for Mac and click the stopwatch next to scale. Paste in the bounce expression. You'll find the full code in the video description. Now, a quick word about the bounce expression. At the top, you'll see a few numbers you can easily change. AMP controls how strong the bounce is. Bigger number, bigger bounce. Freck sets how fast it bounces. Decay decides how quickly the bounce slows down, and time max is simply how long the bounce can last after the animation. So if you want a soft, gentle bounce, keep amp low. If you want a fun, cartoony bounce, raise amp and maybe freak. That's it. Just tweak these numbers until it feels right and you don't need to touch the rest of the code. Tip. To make the bounce more visible, select the last scale keyframe and make it linear by holding Control for Windows or Command for Mac and clicking it. And that's it. Press play and watch your gift box pop up with squash, stretch, and a nice bounce at the end. All right, to make this feel more polished, split the artwork into four layers, the box and three bow ribbon parts. All three ribbon pieces are parented to the box using the parent pick whip. That way, the box drives the main motion, and the ribbons add nice secondary motion. First, set each ribbon piece's anchor point right where it would hinge in real life. This is crucial. It makes squashes look physically grounded. The box layer keeps the main animation we already built, scale plus position, plus the bounce expression. For the three ribbon layers, Copy the scale keys from the box, but make small variations so nothing feels copy-pasted.
Then offset their scale by 2 to 4 frames so they overlap the box motion and settle just after it. That tiny delay sells the weight and flexibility. Enable Motion Blur. That instantly lifts the quality during fast moves. The result is a pop-up that feels snappy, elastic, and handcrafted, without adding much complexity. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more quick and fun After Effects lessons here on One Click Motion.